Good morning, Xilin. Our uh, devotional today is on Acts chapter 20, verses 17 to 38, uh, where we will find that after about three and a half years of ministering to the Ephesian church, he calls on the Ephesian elders uh, to give them a final address before his departure. Nakikita natin dito sa farewell address na to that uh, Paul was so passionate, so personal kasi spending three years ba naman uh, with the brethren uh, pag nagpapaalam ka talagang uh, masakit, you know. Maintindihan namin yan dahil the Lord has given uh, Geraldine and, and I the privilege of uh, planting three churches in the U.S at tuwing magpapaalam kami doon sa mga congregations na yun, uh, napakasakit talaga. Uh, sa so first part ng scripture na to, so, uh, <coughs> verse 18, sinabi ni Paul na, You know, alam nyo, uh, I've lived with you, I've nakita nyo that I've served the Lord with humility, with tears and trials doon sa mga pang-aapi ng mga hudyo sa kanya. Uh, ang sabi niya, I withheld nothing which is good. Wala akong pinagkait sa inyo na mabuti. And uh, nakita niyo that I've testified to both Jews and Gentiles. Wala akong uh, discrimination. Uh, and I've ministered both in public and sa house to house. Makikita niyo sa buhay ni Paul, pinapakita niyo sa kanila ang kanyang consistency and that he was he is focused on Christ and on the mission of God. In other words, uh, they not only heard the gospel through the mouth of Paul, but they have seen the gospel live through Paul's life. Napakagandang example ni Paul yan para sa atin. And now, sabi niya, he is led by the Spirit to go to Jerusalem. At ang kanyang inaasahan doon ay chains and tribulations dahil sa mga hudyo doon. At ang sabi niya ay, you will see my face no more. Pero sabi niya, none of these things move me. Uh, hindi ako nababahala dito sa mga, bat, sa mga bagay na ito. Bakit? Ano siya? Willing victim ba siya? Hindi, exuon meron lang siyang priority uh, sa kanyang buhay. At anong priority na ito? Sabi niya sa verse 24, None of these things move me, neither count I my life dear unto myself, so that I, ito, ang kanyang focus at ang kanyang priority, so that I might finish my course with joy, and the ministry which I have received of the Lord Jesus to testify the gospel of the grace of God. Consistent ang kanyang buhay dito at focus siya kay Kristo at sa misyon na ibinigay ng Diyos sa kanya. Lahat tayo igsuon ay tinawag ng Panginoon sa Great Commission. Iba-iba ang capacity natin. Uh, Pero lahat tayo ay tinawag para dito sa komisyon na ito. Tapos, uh, chinards na niya ang, ano, ang efficient elders. Unang-una, sinabi niya, I am innocent of the blood of all men. Bakit niya nasabi to? I have not withheld the counsel of God. Habang sinabi niya ito, naalala ko yung sinabi ni Lord dun sa Ezekiel 3. Sabi niya, kayong nakakaalam ng katotohanan. Pagka mayroong kayong nakita na taong makasalanan at alam nyo ang kanyang pupuntahan ay disgrasya at hindi kayo nagsalita, I will charge their blood on you. Pag sinabihan nyo siya, tapos hindi siya naniniwala sa inyo at siya ay namatay at pumunta sa disgrasya, hindi ko kayo absuelto kayo sa responsibilidad. Yan ang sabi niya sa Ezekiel 3. Pero pagka nakinig sila, sila ay may ligtas. You know? 
that is a great blessing. Pero pagka hindi kayo nagsalita, I will charge their blood on you. Uh, these are very strong words, Siksuon. Tignan ninyo doon sa Ezekiel 3. Pero ito ang sinabi ng Panginoon sa atin. The question that we ask upon ourselves, Siksuon, are we innocent of the blood of men? Sinabi niya rin doon sa elders that you are overseers of the elect. Ito ang mga tao na pinili ng Diyos bago pa lang niya linikha ang mundo. And they are valuable to the Lord. Bakit? Because He has purchased them with His own blood. Kaya sabi niya, uh, wag kayong uh, mabigo sa pagwawarn sa kanila. There are ravening wolves uh, that will come and destroy uh, everything that I have taught you with false doctrine, with false teaching. Ito sa mga panahon natin ngayon, merong mga ang daming mga lumalabas na kung ano-ano dyan. Mga conspiracy theories, yung mga uh, paniniwala tungkol dun sa Mark of the Beast. You know? Uh, sabi niya, huwag kayong mabigo sa pag warn sa kanila dito sa mga ravening wolves na ito. Paano ma-avoid ng mga mananampalataya itong mga false teachings na ito by living lives which are consistent and are focused on Christ and on God's mission. Finally, he gave them his benediction. Sabi niya, I commend you to God who is able to raise you to an eternal inheritance of the sanctified. Inihahabiling ko sayo, kayo sa Diyos who will prepare you for His imminent future world. At iniwan niya uh, sila ng isang great teaching. Sabi niya, I have not been a burden to you. I worked for my livelihood. Uh, rather, uh, tularan niyo ako not to be a burden to one another, but rather take care of the weak among you. Dahil pinalahanan sila nung sinabi ni Jesus, it is more blessed to give than to receive. So, pagkatapos ng uh, uh, prayer nila, they said their goodbyes, nag-hug-hug sila, wala pang social distancing noon, and then they saw him to the boat. Inihatid siya dun sa kanyang boat. Uh, may kita natin, sabihin natin, wow, Paul is such a great minister, no? Pero kung titignan mo, Igsoon, Paul is merely one of a number of people just like us. Ordinary ang mga tao. Pero anong pagkakaiba? They, they were willing to consecrate their lives to Jesus. Hindi lang si Paul. All over history, may mga pangalan kayong mga natatandaan dyan na i-dedicate nila ang buhay nila kay Kristo. Even yung mga sinasabi dun sa natutunan natin sa Kairos na a nameless volunteers, mga hindi natin alam yung mga pangalan, pero ibinigay nila ang buhay nila kay Kristo for the advancement of the gospel. They have consecrated their lives to Jesus and they have become springs of living water. Uh, parang nangyayari sa buhay nila, once you have given your life to Christ, everything around you becomes like a garden full of life of, of these things that are worshiping God 24-7. And when we live lives like that, consistent, focused on Christ and on His mission, God Himself will testify that He is true through your life. God bless you, excellent.